Now, I'm going to tell you this. Always quantify how much they vomited. I'm going to tell you, if the patient can't explain it, it just says a lot, the biggest key will be measuring how much comes out when they're in the emergency room. Now, I've been burned. I've been burned in that. They told me he threw up twice. I never asked how much. And it's hard when you take care of more than one critical patient at a time. You know, patients to be seen, 10 in the waiting room, uh, two or eight questionable stroke, uh, patient just has a hemorrhage of the brain, and you're by yourself, no mid-level, just by yourself, and you hear that this young 40-year-old, 40-year-old has had GI bleed before and threw up a lot. Enough that instead of going to a main hospital like uh, Maine University Academic Tertiary Center, they went to a small community hospital because it was convenient and close. And the friend says, yeah, she's worried that he's a drinker and keeps on drinking, and he threw up. And I was like, threw up. And I asked the guy, have you had something called banding? Yeah, it sounds like it. you have something called varices. Yeah, yeah. And I have cirrhosis. Jesus. And then while I'm taking care of other patients, I was told he threw up twice. Only there I find out that the emesis bag was over a liter's worth of material came out twice. Think about that. A unit of blood is only 200 to 250 cc's. Think about that. How many B units behind I was to transfuse this patient? before I transferred him. 